Well, there's a pretty easy way to understand this. This is going to explain to you the flaw in your reasoning. Anyone who feels guilty about loving themselves or who feels that you should be serving others. Here's the flaw in your reasoning. When you are, when you are tending to your point of attraction, you are in concert with your inner being. And that is the biggest win for you. But it's not only a win for you, it's a win for anyone in your gaze, anyone in your thoughts, anyone in your focus. When you are in alignment with who you are and you are holding anything as your object of attention, you are part of that flow, you are part of that soothing, you are part of that solution. Now, that was a little bit of a sales job to get you to be willing to love yourself more. But there's a simpler way to do it. When you're not in sync with source, let's start again. Let's just call source energy love. And we want to explain frequency of no resistance. What is love? Love is the way your solar plexus feel when the chemicals in your body have been orchestrated from broader perspective because in your alignment source energy is sending the impulse and your body is responding love is the relationship between you and your inner being and the feeling of love is you and your inner being in total agreement that's what love is you and your inner being in total agreement you and your inner being in total agreement so if you are not loving yourself you've practiced being out of agreement with your inner being and the way that people focus themselves out of agreement with their inner being is that they're choosing to be in agreement with others it's the story we've been telling about calibrating to someone human don't you be selfish you need to serve others you need to serve others well the way you serve others is by hooking up to what you're serving if you're not selfish enough to tune into all that you are you don't have anything to give and so it really is win-win you have to hook up to it in order to give it and so the greatest service to others is to serve yourself by connecting to the energy that creates worlds and its understanding and knowing and appreciation of you and without that hardly anything in comparison happens that was a good sales job as you continue to say I don't love myself well why in the world would you not love yourself when your inner being loves you so much? You know what the ironic reason is? Oh, this is so good. Your inner being has such clear understanding of who you are. An absence of any resistance in that understanding. And when you don't match that, you feel terrible. And you relate it to the subject of loving yourself. Isn't that interesting? But so many people in your world, and it's true of all of you, in their lack of self-love, they've been looking for it somewhere. And they've been misunderstanding what it is, so they're trying to get it from you. And what makes them believe that you love them is that you serve them, that you think about them first, that you are considerate of them always, that you put yourself out, that the more pain that you experience, the more you love them. But you are not the creator of their reality. And what happens to them is because they're matching up with something. We want to say to you, first of all, stop saying that you don't love yourself. That's not helping. That's just keeping it going. The focus on what I don't have is not going to get me what I want. The law of attraction doesn't work that way. So here's a tool. When you focus on someone that you know for sure that you love, you know what you're doing when you do that? Self-love. Because you are choosing an object of attention that's matching you up with your inner being. That's self-love. When you feel doubt, not self-love. When you feel sure, self-love. So interesting, isn't it? 
I'm sure about that love. So there's no doubt then, is there? Isn't that interesting? Is it starting to break through just a little bit? Isn't it shocking? Abraham, you mean I don't have to choose them or me? That when I love them, I'm also choosing me? That any time that I'm wise enough and deliberate enough to focus upon something that feels good and I stay there long enough until I feel that crescendo, that escalation in that feeling, until I've connected with love, that now I am love. Self-love is being love. And it doesn't matter what the object of your attention is. Self-love is being love. Being who you really are. Jerry wanted to put on all the spines of all the books in all the bookstores self-help from your total self because he wanted to emphasize that that alignment is where all the help comes from that's big isn't it when you are loving anything you're practicing self-love we know you're there we know you got that you felt that shift your point of attraction shifted so now here's the next step here's the next tool in our bag of tricks <laughs> self-love is focusing on something that evokes that feeling of love Just stay there for a little bit let different things come to mind you can make a list or you can choose one thing because in a focused moment with no distraction there is an automatic escalation so that you can feel it more and feel it more so when you feel like you're in love with someone actually they're not the reason for your love that you think you're just using them as the excuse to tune into who you really are even when you are loving your child or your lover and you feel so in love what that feeling is is alignment with your inner being so when you say to someone if you were really accurate instead of saying I love you so much what you would say if you were really wanting to be vibrationally accurate is my attention upon you has connected me with what is love you're just my excuse to hook up with who I really am and the thing is if you want a long lasting love then figure that out and figure out that watching the birds and swimming with the dolphins and taking a hike in the park and getting out on the water and getting out and breathing fresh air and eating something delicious and all those things that feel good to you and feel good to you and feel good to you and feel good to you, feel good to you all keep you hooked in with this vibration of love and then before long you are loving almost everyone you see and when you are loving almost everyone you see you got self-love going on because you can't love anyone without being in alignment with who you are love has been misunderstood love is the vibrational indicator that lets you know that you are in complete sync with who you are sync with who you are that there's no resistance in your vibration right now right now I'm tuned in tapped in turned on and I'm holding you as my object of attention and it looks like I'm in love with you but really I'm just love looking at you So it's not possible to give yourself away because you did that before you could do that. And what's interesting with humans, we love you so much, but you think that that person came first and caused the love, but the love is alignment. It worked the other way. Alignment, then love, not object of attention and then love. You're not the reason that I love because what is love? What is love? Let's define it. What is love? Love is the indication of alignment with your source. That's love. That's love. People have it backwards. They think that that object of attention is the reason for my love. All right. We know you're confused. Hang in. Do you know 
that if you didn't do that thing that you do that gets in the way of love you would always be in the state of love so what kinds of things do you do that get in your way you push against things you don't want things it's focusing in opposition to let's start again let's make this really clear so you were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of that consciousness came into this physical body but the larger part of that consciousness remains non-physically focused so that non-physical focus is pure love now it's pure love because over lifetimes it's been practiced there when you re-emerge into non-physical you leave behind all of that stuff that has caused you to feel doubt and fear and worry and all of that stuff so this is a long gathered curated vibration humans want to call it God we call it source energy it's who you all are so here you are now in your physical bodies and you have a relationship with that and your emotions are your indicator of what your relationship with that is with what with that well what is that that's love that's the frequency with no resistance so it's the highest vibration that exists in all of the universe that's what love is it's absence of resistance so when you hold someone as your object of tension and you're looking for matches I love your eyes I love the way you smell oh that felt really good I liked that a lot so as you're focused upon what's going on in this physical relationship with this other person think about it think about those moments in time when you felt most in love were you making lists of things that you wanted them to stop doing or were you focused upon the positive aspects even though you didn't know you were doing it were you focused upon matches 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 I like the way you think I like the way you laugh I like the way you look at me I like this I like this I like this it doesn't take too much of that matching whether you know you're doing it or not to hook up with who you are and then you say I love you you with us so how about finding the positive aspects and matching up with them of prosperity how about falling in love with prosperity you're on vacation and you feel free I like that I like that free feeling you do something nice for yourself and you like it I like that you're finding the match finding the match in life taking the walk lingering without a feeling of strong responsibility not pushing against anything laughing with friends I like that 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 you are practicing matching prosperity prosperity is like love it has no resistance you following us a little bit watching someone romping galloping running cycling climbing hiking swimming physically fit vigorously active loving their bodies Ooh, that looks good I'd like that I'd like that I'm a match to that stamina I'm a match to that strength I'm a match meaning I like it I feel good when I see it I feel good when I see it not jealous not longing because once I was there and now I'm not I'm looking for things everywhere I can look that feel good to me I'm a match to that highest vibration no resistance absolute physical vitality and well-being you're getting the gist of what we're talking about the way you exist in your vibrational non-physical state is non-resistance and if you can begin to approach your physical lives with an intention to match with that then in the back door comes all of the things that you're asking for.